Hey guys and welcome back to a new video here on my channel and this time I have five more build hacks for Halloween. Uh, this is the second part if you want to learn how you can build these ghosts behind me. Check out the first video, it's linked in the info card right now. So let's start. So the first one here was actually suggested under the last video. I'll put the comment here and it's an addition to the one where the zombies come out of the ground and you can basically just place a zombie head and then use candles or if you want to sea pickles as hands so he sticks his hands out and it's not just the body that you can see very cool and small detail if you have the zombies you can add one of those too next up we have some flying eyeballs which Kind of look very creepy. Um, yeah, there are two variants of those. This one is with a custom head. And it's obviously not possible in survival. But if you still want to do it, you can use a glow item frame with a blue stained glass pane inside and then a black button right there. It kind of looks like the same. I like those with the custom heads a bit better obviously, but this one also works. So there's just a bone block and some weeping vines hanging from it. And if you have tick speed on, remember to place a string or something underneath it, otherwise they'll just grow and you might not want that. Now this next one is also kind of an addition to the pumpkin patch with the smaller pumpkins or whatever and you can put a hat on the pumpkin <laughs> it looks really cool you can do that with every block you can also just use it for decoration if you have like a barrel or something you can place your hat on top and I'll quickly show you how it's done so place any block you want in this case I'll just use the pumpkin then what you need to do is break the block underneath it and then place the dispenser, put the armor stand inside and before we do that you can place a widow skeleton skull on top of it so you have the black hat. Then place the armor stand, it should fall down otherwise check if you remove the block there. Then add the second widow skeleton skull, press again you remove everything and you have yourself a pumpkin with a hat on top. Now before we continue remember to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and if you like my videos. <laughs> yeah! Now this next one is a very cruel machine and it's a head getting cut in half by a stone cutter so I could be in a scary factory, abandoned factory or something. You have the band with heads going along it that is just getting cut in half. And I'll quickly show you how this is done as well. So what you need to do is place a wall or whatever under your stone cutter and then use a dispenser to place an armor stand right there. Add your head and your armor or whatever. Don't worry about the rest of the armor stand, you won't see that. And then place a piston, push it in, break the piston. It's activating because of the redstone torch here. <laughs> yeah, and you have it pushed right there. And then you can remove this, place a slab. And then we need the stairs, place a stair right on top and use another piston to push it down and you can place your stuff back and cover it with some signs and that's it, very easy but very scary as well. And the last one here is a Grim Reaper. 
you can have it standing on the ground or floating like I did here. And it's just made up of three coal blocks, blackstone walls, diorite walls. I'll just grab all this stuff. So yeah, three coal blocks and then give him some arms right here. One for the blade or however you want to call this. I use some deep slate walls. You can use whatever walls you want. And then give him a lantern here. And obviously the skull. And if it's floating, add a banner right here. And on the back as well. And you have yourself a Grim Reaper. Now I'll leave a link to the banner in the description. So if you want to recreate this. It's not very difficult. You'll just need a Creeper Charge. Yeah, this is the Grim Reaper. And with that, you're at the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I wish you a happy Halloween, whether you celebrate or not. And I'll see you in the next one.